Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIVS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Shift. Today, I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So, my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 34 of half yearly. And my dear student, our today's topic name is Assignment on Discussion. Okay. So, my dear student, let us start our class. Dear student, at first you write the cover base properly. So, this is assignment number 1. You must write assignment number 1. Okay. After that, you write the topic name from here. Here, notice topic name is short question comma cbq of chapter 1 2 3 and 5 dear student i repeat you must write the topic name clearly okay topic name is short question cbq of chapter 1 2 3 and 5 okay and class 5 subject mathematics and you write your name proper name role section properly okay so Question number one, answer in short. Okay, the question number one, answer in short. So, A number question, what is the formula of multiplicand? I repeat, what is the formula of multiplicand? So, the formula is multiplicand equal to product divided by multiplier. I repeat, product divided by multiplier. B number question, what is the formula of divisor? The formula of divisor is dividend minus remainder divided by quotient okay c number what is the relation between divisor and remainder the relation between divisor and remainder is divisor is greater than remainder you can write this in another way remainder is always smaller than divisor okay 31 minus 3 multiplied 2 plus 25 equal to what so at first we do multiplication that means 3 2s are 6 here 6 is 6 carrying minus sign and 31 and 25 carrying plus sign so at first we do addition if we do addition then we get uh, 5 on 6 3 to 5 that means 56 and subtract 6 from 56 we get 50 so 50 is the required answer okay my destiny if you want to show here this solution procedure then it will be okay but if you don't write this then it will be okay okay so e number question rana's total amount is four times of molly's amount so how much rana has if molly has 20 taka dear student notice rana's total amount is four times of molly's amount that means we multiply four with molly's amount molly's amount is 20 so 4 multiply 20 we get 80 so 80 taka is the amount of rana okay f number question the price of 8x is 72 taka so what is the price of an egg that means we need to find out the price of on egg so the price of 8x is 72 taka so the price of on egg is we divide this 72 by 8 and get 9 so 9 taka is the price of one egg g number determine the price of 10 pencils when the price of 6 pencil is 30 taka dear student from this information we can easily find out the price of on pencil the price of 6 pencil is 30 taka so the price of on pencil is 6 30 divided by 6 and we get 5 so the price of on pencil is 5 taka after that 5 is multiplied with this 10 in order to getting the price of 10 pencil that means if we multiply 5 with 10 then we get 50 so 50 taka is the price of 10 pencil so g number done next is number define prime number dear student answer a number which is greater than one i repeat a number which is greater than one and has exactly two divisor is called a prime number which are 2 3 5 etc okay you must write example okay 2 3 5 etc okay i number question what are the full form of gcm and lcm the full form of gcm and lcm uh, lcm is greatest common factor and least common multiples respectively okay i number done j number what is the difference between gcm and lcm of 12 24 and 36 at first we find out gcm after that we find out lcm and finally we do subtract and we get 
answer okay so their gcm is 12 and their lcm is 72 if we subtract 12 from 72 then we get 60 dear student if you want to write this question then you write in this way but if you don't want to write this question in your assignment copy then you must write answer to the question number one after that you write a number and write the answer only b number write the answer only c number write the answer only just like this you have to write all the short questions answer okay okay now we shall go to our cbq question number two so my dear student i don't do this in this class okay i uh, i can explain it how can you solve it okay but you must solve it by yourself okay the price of three mobile phones and two television is ninety-eight thousand taka in total the price of on mobile phone is eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty taka a number question find the price of three mobile phones that means here you notice one mobile phone price is eleven thousand seven hundred fifty taka so the price of three mobile phone is we do multiply of eleven thousand seven hundred fifty by three and we get the answer okay b number question find the price of on television dear student from a we get the price of three mobile phones okay that price is subtracted from the total price of three mobile phones and two television then we get the price of two television after that from that we divide that amount by two and we get the uh, price of one television so b number done c number question find the difference between the price of five television and three mobile phone dear student from b we get the price of own television from that information we can easily find out the price of five television after that three mobile phones price is found from question number a then we do subtraction and we get the answer three number questions 60 kg rice 40 kg flour and 32 kg pulse are bought for distributing among some flood affected families okay so the flood affected people's the relief uh, goods is bought which are 60 kg rice 40 kg flour and 32 kg pulse okay a number question what is the largest number of families among whom rice and flour can be divided equally that means my dear student here you notice the amount of rice and amount of flour is needed to find out the largest number of families so if the largest this word is present in a word problem then what can we do we do gcf or lcm we must do gcf that means we need to find out the gcf of uh, 60 kg and 40 kg and we get the answer okay b number question what is the largest number of families among whom rice pulse and flour can be divided same as question number b here we use only the amount of rice and flour but in this case we use rice pulse and flour okay so that means we do uh, gcf of 60 40 and 32 and we get the answer question number c if the quantity of pulse is having 12 kg less then what is the largest number of families among whom rice pulse and flour can be divided equally that means here one information is given here 12 kg less pulse that means we subtract this 12 kg from this 32 kg and we get 20 kg now we do gcf of 60 40 and 20 and we get the required answer okay my dear student you must solve question number two and three as my requirement so my dear student i hope you have understood how to write assignment of math okay if you have any more queries then you must uh, make a phone call to me my phone number is given on the board so my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum